with Risen forging its path, we're starting to get a few more AM4 motherboards, which means that we can evolve from AMD 970 chipset comparisons to a more level competition. We caught some flack from readers regarding reference data, choice of GPU, and limited depth in our review of the ASRock X370 Teiki. Next up, the ASRock X370 Gaming K4. It's back to the Fatal 1 Tie series and placing their focus back onto gaming. AS Rock's Fatal 1 Tie series has refined the standard for using red and black in its motherboard schemes and marketing. The early executions were quite sloppy, and aesthetically this X370 Gaming K4 is a step in the right direction. The large box shares the same footprint as the X370 Teiki, and the graphic arrangement seems much more balanced with the extra real estate. The box foregoes the Fatal 1 Tie photo and provides highly differential product information, such as the M.2 Key for Wi Fi modules, dual storage M.2S, and the board's abundant hardware connections. Despite the glossy finish and superb branding, box contents are a little sparse, with only four SATA cables, a backplate, four individually packaged tiny screws, SLI bridge, software CD postcard, and documentation. The X370 Gaming K4 backplate is slightly different than that of the Teiki, providing two PS-2 ports, six USB 3.0, one USB 3.1 Type-A, one USB 3.1 Type-C, five analog audio jacks, SDIF, Gigabit Ethernet, and HDMI 1.4. Of course, that HDMI port won't work until AM4 APUs hit the market later this year. There is also space for two Wi-Fi antennae to be routed and mounted to the backplate, although this product does not provide any of that hardware. The X370 Gaming K4 serves Creative Sound Blaster Cinema 3, which is only a slight deviation from the Teiki audio solution. The bottom edge of the board hosts the TPM, two 4-pin fan headers, two for RGB, the standard USB 2.0 header, and front panel headers. As for storage options, two Type M key M.2 ports deploy Gen 2 X2 key and Gen 3 X4 key through the M2 underscore 2 and M2 underscore 1 sockets, respectively. Six right angle SATA 6 gigabits per second ports sit on the right edge of the board next to the RGB promontory heat spreader. This should be plenty of fast disk I.O. for gaming applications, but could be a limiting factor for workstations. We would have preferred an X4 connection for the M2 underscore 2 slot at the cost of losing some USB ports or some of the X1 slots. The remainder of the board layout is straightforward, giving immediate and easy access to the USB 3.1 headers, 24 pin ADX, and single-ended memory DIMM slots towards the front of the chassis. Two 4 pin fan headers next to the voltage regulator heat spreaders give access to optional CPU fans and water pumps, however, water pumps are limited to a maximum of 1.5A. Speaking of voltage regulator heat sinks, these appear to be similar in size of those of the AS Rock X370 Teiki, but lack the angles and style in favor of simplicity. With the extra storage, M.2, and Wi Fi M.2, there are only two key X16 and four key X1 slots available. The lack of additional X16 or X8 slots limits the higher end card options. But then again, if you need more I.O., you wouldn't be considering a board with features aimed at gaming enthusiasts. <laughs>